As many of you can probably agree with me, starting or keeping a daily meditation practice can be really, really challenging. Uh, something that I have found very effective for myself is actually two things. One, going in and turning on the notifications from the Muse app so that I can set a daily reminder for my preferred practice time. I'm someone who likes meditating in the morning after I work out, so that's essentially the same time for me. It's around 8.30 every morning. Uh, and I noticed that when I was able to set on my notifications and create a practice reminder, I was more likely to actually do the practice, which was very helpful. Another trick was actually getting my partner or a friend to do a meditation challenge with me. Uh, it sounds really simple, but for me, I'm big on accountability, and it was a great way to be able to talk about what I was going through and what came up for me after or before I did meditations, as well as just a fun way to kind of push each other and keep each other accountable. Um, because just like starting a new workout routine or really any type of new behavior, there's gonna be a little bit of friction up front until you've really integrated into your everyday behaviors. Uh, so having a friend or a partner kind of go along for that challenge with you can be not only more fun, uh, but a great way to keep you on track. Two other things that I find really, really helpful when I am either not happy with how frequent I've been with my meditation practice or kind of just fallen off the bandwagon of my regular practice is my mindset and framing on how I look at my practice. So there's two ways that I find are really helpful for myself. One is cultivating uh, curiosity. So to me, curiosity means not being judgmental of either missing a day or feeling like you had a bad session. Obviously that goes back to mindfulness fundamentals of really a non-judgmental mind. But I find because I'm very, I'm a very competitive person and I'm pretty hard on myself if I've set a goal and I haven't made it, um, that really coming back to this curious and playful kind of lens of how I view my practice and how I do with my practice helps me soften, gives me a little bit of space and also doesn't create a negative feedback loop when I have missed a day of meditation. Uh, another thing that I recently read that really, really stuck with me and has really been motivating for me is this whole idea where I think of ROI based on the time you put in med med into meditation. So for example, if I am to sit and do five to 10 minutes of meditation in my day, ultimately by spending the time in that five and 10 minutes, I have the ability to impact the remaining minutes in my day, simply by putting the upfront effort into that five to 10 minutes. When I think about it like that, and I think about the amazing benefits that a meditation practice can have for me, that continues to help motivate me uh, to continue to sit down and do the practice.